Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making some macaroni and chicken. So let's get started. So I have some chicken legs that I went ahead and take the skin off, washed it, cut it up and seasoned it with some homemade green seasoning. I also have some vegetables that are already prep. I have some bell pepper, onion, garlic, some celery, carrot, zucchini and some snow peas. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and heat my frying pan up with some oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and add all my seasoned chicken to my hot oil like so. Mix that bad boy up and I'm going to let it cook. I'm now going to go ahead and let this chicken cook until it loses its own liquid. And the liquid started cooking out and my then I'll add all my other ingredients to the chicken. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add my water to a pot and put it on my stove to bring to a boil for my pasta. So I'm using a pack of Ethyl pasta noodles, which is penne. So now I'm going to go ahead and salt my pasta water like the ocean, add the pasta and cook according to package. So now as you can see, my chicken is cooked and the liquid is starting to evaporate it. I'm actually going to go ahead now and start adding my seasoning. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start adding my chili flakes, followed by my black pepper. And then I'm actually going to go ahead now and add my adobo seasoning. Guys, don't forget that all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. <coughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and add some Chinese five spice powder. I'm going to add some regular five spice powder. I'm also going to go in here with some onion and garlic powder mix. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some chow mein seasoning. I'm going to mix up this bad boy like so and I'll show you my secret ingredients for macaroni and chicken. I'm going to go ahead and add about one and a half tablespoon of casrip. Or you can add Malaysian soy sauce. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoon word of Chinese sauce and I'm gonna go ahead and stir this bad boy up again in Guyanese cooking we eyeball all our ingredients we do not measure but don't worry guys all the ingredients with the measurement will be in the description box so check it out so now I'm gonna give this bad boy a stir like so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to add my secret ingredients which is a tomato cube so I usually get the tomato cubes from Guyana, so I add one. So my pasta is fully cooked. I'm going to go ahead and drain that bad boy, put it back into the same pot, and I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of butter and mix that up. And I'm going to go ahead now and start seasoning up my pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of chow mein seasoning to it, and I'm going to go ahead and add a dash of black pepper. I'm also going to go in with a tablespoon of casrip and mix that bad boy up and set it aside. <clears throat> so now that my noodle is already mixed up, I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, all the liquid from the chicken is evaporated. I'm going to go ahead now and add my pasta to my chicken like so. And then I'm in the same pasta pot, add my vegetables and I'm going to sweat it for a bit. Once the vegetables sweat, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the pasta like so. And mix the bad boy and let everything combine together. And voila, we have macaroni and chicken. I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope you guys don't forget to subscribe or share. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And until next time, guys, be happy and enjoy.